Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's Sylvie Mom's Sword of the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Bullwhip. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> Fergus. <clears throat> Fergus and Dallas squared off in the circle. The match went on for a long time, and as it, as it neared its time limit, there was an accident. Dallas fell from a turnbuckle, broke his elbow, and Fergus made short work of him after that. The cat left, and Fergus became president of the Federation, but when the dust settled, there wasn't much of it left to rule. The roster lay in ruins, teams had separated, old friends wouldn't talk to each other, some had been injured, some just quit wrestling altogether. Some of our biggest remaining talents were picked up by a new Federation that started up. We were back to our humble beginnings, except now also making down payments on a big expensive arena. Fergus had spent the past years rebuilding, and yet we're still only scaffolding on top of a crater. Could he have, uh, done a better job with it? The polar bear purses his lips. We don't know what the alternative would have been like. It could have been worse. He shrugged. So, today we're not selling out our arena any longer, and this is the last year of our TV contract. That means we need to work harder than ever before to get where we want to be. And the reunion you saw you, you saw today. He leaves it hanging and rubs his eyes. Yeah, I think this is it for today. Tomorrow will be your first proper day as a professional wrestler. We're not going to waste any time, so make sure you get enough rest. Rinka gets up, jots down something on a sticky note, and slaps it onto the fridge. My number. Call me if you need anything, or just knock on my door. I'll see you outside tomorrow at 8. Night, coach. Thanks for the food. Sleep well, kid. Then he heads out the door. It doesn't take long before you hear the siren song of your bed. When you finally dive into its embrace, you're asleep before it catches you. Your brain picks the day apart, blends the pieces together, and produces a medley of surreal dreams. You fumble around a locker maze, a red dragon game show audience laughing at your attempts to get out. A cross-legged zebra studies you from above, then frowns and colors your snout with a yellow marker pen. A scaly vending machine taunts you with a bar of chocolate just out of reach. You hurtle along a go-kart course from a monkey uh, when a monkey lobs a low-resolution pineapple at you. You wake up trying to grab it. The dream fades as you find your phone, three minutes before your alarm goes off. You groan and stretch, covering the entire bed, then drop your feet to the floor. The day has begun. Day 2. The Announcement 8 a.m. sharp, you enter Renga's car outside his office, outside his house. He's already at the wheel. Morning, kid! He practically slaps you with a thick sandwich wrapped in plastic once you're seated beside him. Hey, you can fill your fridge later today. You scratch the back of your head. It's like being mothered at home. Thanks. Alright, so where are we going? You munch on your sandwich most of the way to the arena. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Oh, alright. I guess we'll just see what it says. You stop chewing at a sudden expletive from the polar bear. God damn it! The car slows and joins a row of vehicles trundling along at a syrupy pace. An engine breakdown or something? Whatever it is, it's inconvenient. Are we gonna miss out on anything important? Hopefully not. Ringa's phone, held at the dashboard, starts chiming. He takes the call. Hi, you're on speakerphone. Got the new kid with me. What's up? The radio voice from yesterday answers. Ah, uh, yes, um, he called a gathering in the lobby in 15 minutes. Where are you? On the road. Congestion. Can you stall it for me? No, I don't think we're the ones he wants to talk to. Fine, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thanks for the heads up. The polar bear ends the call, but says nothing. As minutes go by, the queue moving leisurely ahead, the atmosphere grows tense. Renga keeps checking his clock, occasionally muttering under his breath. So, by he, did he mean... Dallas? Is he giving the Federation a pep talk? Oh, whatever it is, it's going to be motivating. Will there be another, uh, scuffle? No, Fergus doesn't come in this early. So, Dallas has the stage to himself. Yup. When the car finally enters St. Benazette, Ringa immediately pulls onto the highway heading out the city. We're taking the hills route, less traffic. He pulls off, the off at the first exit ramp, circling the border of the district. And he turns onto a road in the hillside. The buildings here are an odd mix of old and new. Some look ready to collapse. Some actually have. Others are newly built. The polar bear's eyes are firmly fixed on the road. 
Two quick turns later, you see Bullwhip Arena across a grassy field. Ranga parks along the road and is out of the car in an instant. Hurry up, kid! Two car doors slam shut. You hustle across the field. When you reach the arena entrance, you see the lobby inside full of people. Slightly winded, you trot inside to find them all looking up at the gallery. Oh, hello there. The Dapper Panther is already mid-speech. Frankly, we're on the brink of bankruptcy. We must take action. To revive our product, we need to renew it. That is why I'm here. I'm your doctor, and like any remedy that works, mine will be bitter. As regretful as our departure is, our tag team champions leaving us presents me with a fair way to handle things. Listen up, people. I hereby announce a tournament for the tag team titles. You'll all be in it, veterans and rookies alike. And it starts next week. The setup will be a single elimination. There will be four rounds ending in a final at the end of the season, which means we'll be crowning our new champions in the main event of our Primal Roar pay-per-view. And for the first round, there'll be a special condition. Whichever team lo teams lose the first round will be fired. What? That's insane! Who do you think you are? Where's Fergus? There you know. Okay. Fired! You can't just fire half the roster. Of course I can. What do you think renewing the product means? You are the product. And you can be and you can be all shook up over this, or you can view it as an opportunity. Bullop has long been stagnant and still. This is your chance to make waves. You're each and every one of you a brand. Make the fans want to surf it. Thrill them. Make them wet. Do this and the Federation will stay afloat. Do this and you might emerge in the end a tag team champion of Bullwhip Wrestling. Coach Ringa steps forward. But some of our talent hasn't even been paired up yet, surely. Then what are you waiting for, Sado? That's your job, isn't it? They'll be earning their place here like everyone else. Make sure they're ready, or help them pack. The panther leans over the rails overlooking the lobby. And in case there's any doubt, there'll be a lot of hard work to come. For all of us. Our finances are dire. When half of you leave, we'll have cut costs. But we still need to increase our income. I'm working on that, and you will all be helping when I call on you for it. So, that's it, people. You may resume your day. Work like your career depends on it, because it does. Okay. The Panther leaves the stunned gathering of wrestlers and staff without looking back. Then the cacophony of objections and outrage erupts again. You spot Ringa in the crowd of people. He gives you a look that answers the question burning within you. Nope, you're not exempt from this. The tournament starts next week, and you'll be in it. Boy. Why did it have to start there? Hmm. Okay. If you lose, your career ends before it starts. You thought this was it. Something great come your way. And now it's dangling by the thinnest of threads. It's for real, isn't it? You're wrestling next week. Ah, to be continued, really? Damn. All right. All right, y'all, I guess I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Ah, oh, man, we're really going through some games lately. All right, so I guess that is the end of Bullwhip for now. Uh, hopefully more will be coming out soon. I really enjoy this. Can't wait to see more of them beefy guys getting oiled up and wrestling. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!